All right, there, this is, there is such wonderful talent in this northern Kentucky area. And we've got a couple of the guys back. This was going on since 2013. We first started, we uh, were trying to decide who to put in. And a fellow named Jerry Gifford got this started. So we put a call out for uh, people who are eligible. They had to, uh, born in Kentucky, lived here, or spent a good part of their musical career. And we got 350 names. And uh, it's really hard to choose, but I, I think we do a good job of choosing the guys who really deserve it. What you need to do if you get a, t a chance is to go up to the mess hall uh, during the break and see the displays that these guys have, have put together. You, you wouldn't believe all the, 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 the things that they have accomplished. And we started this thing uh, several years ago, but the reason we started it is because people didn't know of the talent that came out of, uh, out of this area. We had a meeting at Barry Crawford Museum, and uh, we did trying to decide who was going in. I said, well, what about a guy named Haven Gillespie? Everybody said, I don't know. They start Googling Haven Gillespie. Well, this guy wrote Santa Claus is Coming to Town. <laughs> and he wrote a thousand records. He's in the National Songwriters Hall of Fame, and he's done songs for Frank Sinatra, George Strait. And the, the street right in front of the Barrick and Crawford Museum was named for him. So that's how. The, another one is uh, my cousin, Steve Mendel. He's from right here in Fort Thomas. He has 39 gold and platinum records. These are our initial inductees. He started out with uh, James Brown over at King's Record and wound up, his last one was with uh, Steve Ray Vaughan, where he's a sound engineer and bass player. That's pretty much how this has started to inform everybody what talent has come out of here. Now, some of the past guys that are here um, are, um, I hope he's here. Uh, we, first of all, we have uh, Bobby Mackey. And Bobby, Bobby's going to be playing later. Everybody knows Bobby. I don't have to go in the background of, of, of Bobby. Uh, who's also going to be here is, is Gary Winters. Gary Winters is a class, world-class musician. He's, uh, we, we're lucky. We've been trying to get him back here for a couple years. He's in the middle uh, break from his European tour. He's going to play at the Chicago Blues Festival. But uh, Gary's going to be playing in a jam session later on. Um, now we're going to introduce our our next one. Is a guy who was a friend of mine. He was uh, very unique. He's a banjo player. When you think banjo player, you think bluegrass. Well, that that wasn't Taylor Farley. Taylor Farley would play blues, rock, and whatever. And I was totally blown away the first time I seen him. He says, I'm going to play Wipeout on a banjo. I said, oh, this ought to be good. We started playing, and then when he went to the drum start, he started beating on the banjo, <laughs> and it was totally awesome. And uh, his son's going to play here tonight, later on, in honor of him. Uh, but his son, his wife just had a baby this morning. Oh my God. And you know how musicians are. She's told her, hurry up, honey, get this done. I got a gig tonight. <laughs> his wife was, uh, loved, his, uh, loved his father. She says, you better get there. I don't care what, you had better get there. So he's here and he's going to play. Taylor has uh, opened up for Charlie Daniels. And uh, him and Charlie are good friends. And whenever he opened up for him, they, they gig all night. He is, uh, was very unique, and every Appalachian Festival you saw, you saw Terry, Taylor play at it. But I'm going to bring up his wife, Vicki, who's going to accept the trophy for Taylor. Vicki Farley. <laughs> 